Oh, hi, I'd like to show you a little trinket involving polymers. The polymer in here is pinyl, polyvinyl propylene, and polyvinyl propylene is sometimes used as like a light adhesive. So there's, there's gluing agents inside of hair gel. Now hair gel is water and this polymer. So we have here a little picture up on the board showing polymer strands that are interlocked. You can think of this as being some type of a matrix here. And so when somebody takes some and puts it on their hair, these strands are coating the hairs, locking them into shape, and so <clears throat> your hair has this shape for several hours, maybe all day. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this, as some people do, and put it inside of a beaker. I guess some people put it on their hair. Let's say you have a friend and they wear some hair gel in their hair. You might have like a little falling out or be irritated because they've said something rude. You can destroy their hair for the day. They have their hair all gelled. And we're going to put some salt, just regular table salt, sodium chloride, just a little bit, uh, just a little bit in there. Now you can go ahead and just take some, sprinkle it on their hair. Now the sodium chloride is going to dissolve. It's going to break up this matrix. The sodium plus the Cl minus are going to interfere with these strands and we're going to end up with strands that are no longer interlinked. And so what we're going to get is we're going to get something that is far, far more liquid-like. And so they'll have droopy hair for the day. So we've broken up the polymer matrix. Many times this is not desirable. Usually we like to make polymers and make something instead of be destructive. There's something else going on, and you have no opportunity to experience this on the video, but many of these hair products have perfumes, large perfume or cologne molecules inside of there. So think of these cologne molecules as being trapped inside the polymer strands, the matrix. Well, I just went ahead and busted it up and can tell you that the, <laughs> the smell is really great now because these have been released. When the polymer strands went straight, whew, off go the perfumes. And so there's quite, a, quite an odor here that's not unpleasant, but just in high concentration.